Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past couple of days, including a couple of very special animals, one of which you probably will have already guessed by the thumbnail and the title, but I'm so excited to share all of these trophies with you. Now we're starting off here on a Vrahonga Savannah multiplayer where I spotted a 9 legendary cape buffalo. Now he is the small horns and there was no guarantee that this guy would make diamond. However I decided it would be probably quite fun to try and get him with the bow. However a lioness must have moved through the area and spooked them and unfortunately this guy ended up going nervous but he ended up walking towards me. Now I stood up there to make him go alert but he went to alarmed and then to defensive. Now now, I've seen Cape Buffalo go defensive before, it's not unusual for them to go defensive, however I have never seen a level 9 go defensive. So this basically just meant that I could get up and run pretty close to him to take him with the bow. You can get almost within touching distance of these guys before they will go out of defensive and into a fleeing or aggressive state. But you can see they absolutely smoked him with the bow. Now, there's a specific reason I chose to include this clip, and that is I did shoot a really nice diamond red deer with the bow, and unfortunately, my recording software bugged out, and it didn't include me shooting the stag, which was really unfortunate as I managed to get a lung and heart shot on him. But as you guys can see, this is just a troll 151.10 when 151.30 is diamond. So really, really close, but decided I'd include this bow kill just as a way to talk about that stag. I was so upset that it didn't record it. I was really looking forward to sharing that with you guys, but it's just one of those things. Sometimes technology does not work with us. But a really nice animal to take down with the bow, and I'm definitely going to try and get an actual diamond cape buffalo with the bow. Now the second animal you can already see on screen is another level 3 pheasant here on Rancho del Arroyo. Again, I was carrying the bow just in case I just saw anything I wanted to take with the bow, but this little guy I definitely wasn't going to risk trying to get out of the air with the bow. Managed to pop him there with the shotgun nicely. And I just seem to have incredible luck at finding these guys. These aren't exceedingly common diamonds, but me constantly looking for a melanistic male and an albino male just means I keep tripping up over diamonds. And this is a really big one at 21.70 when 20.30 is diamond. I only got him there with one pellet, so he did take a little while to actually go down. But yet again, another diamond pheasant. And I will never complain at getting more of these guys while searching for rares. They are by far my favourite small game diamond in the entire game, so a really really nice addition to one of the lodges. Now for the next clip we are once again on a Quattro Kalinas multiplayer and I was here again at my favourite lake for Greedos Ibex, mainly looking for rares. Diamond Ibex aren't that hard to find and I have shot a few of each of them now, but I do really like the Greedos and I'd like to get some rares for them. Now, I was scanning around that lake, and unfortunately I knew I'd spooked a group of Ibex that were really close to the point I was standing, but I didn't realise it had that monstrous looking level 5 in it. And as soon as I spotted this guy, I just knew he was big. He, this guy looked so much bigger than other Greedos Ibex diamonds I've shot. And I have shot a 1000 scoring Greedos Ibex on the old system, and this guy reminded me of him. Just absolutely huge. Those horns are massive looking. Now you're going to see him go alert, and I take a shot here that is less than ideal, very risky shot, but it does put him down instantly. Now I say that was far from ideal because it was not a really good angle, and it could have gone so badly. I'm really lucky that that got into vitals. But he just looked massive, even on the ground. So when I was picking him up, I was very intrigued to see what this guy would actually score, because I was wondering if he'd be my personal best on the new system. And picking him up, he's a 105.60 scoring Diamond Greedos Ibex, which is absolutely massive. That is a really, really big Diamond Greedos. 100.10 is Diamond for Greedos, so he is over five points over the Diamond requirement. So a really big one, and I'm so happy to have gotten him down. I was so scared that he was going to flee off and do what some of the Ibex that I've been chasing have been doing, where they just don't go back to their zones. 
it would have been so unfortunate to lose this guy because he is so nice and he is a very very welcome addition to the grand slam multi-mount in the trophy lodge much bigger than the previous one that was in there and i'm so lucky that that shot landed definitely um a case of being uh lucky rather than good on that shot i should have been further forward it did get well into the back of the lung and liver though so I'm so relieved because that is a really awesome diamond. Now sticking with Quattro Kalinas multiplayers, I actually found this level 3 Roebuck. Now I've mentioned before in previous videos that I have a special place in my heart for the roe deer because they are a species I do see in real life and I really do enjoy finding any kind of trophy ones in game because of that. And this guy is a really solid looking level 3, up to 89 on his estimate, so I was really hopeful that this guy could make it. I wasn't sure if he would or not with these antlers, but roe deer diamonds aren't very common, so I'm always happy to see a level 3. This is only the second level 3 I've seen on my PC account. The other is a, the, um, a previous diamond that I shot and is in the main trophy lodge, so I was just so excited to see this guy. It's always really nice to come across the diamonds that aren't so common common and he was actually at a lake that I was here looking for red deer at. This lake in particular is incredibly good for red deer up in the top right of the map and I keep coming up here hoping that maybe I'll find a really nice size rare or another legendary. But you can see managed to get a long shot on him and he went down nicely. And actually just to mention that red deer that I talked about earlier in this video was also in the same server so it would have been so nice to have had that on video to show you guys. But a really good looking buck on the ground and picking him up he is a diamond roe deer at 83.10 which is a nice size buck not a monster diamond roe deer by any means you can see he's not even that close to max weight but a really nice one perfectly even looking at those antlers a really beautiful roe deer specimen now the next animal is here again on Rancho Del Arroyo multiplayer. Now thankfully I got host of this server and that was so important to actually getting this animal. Now you'll see on the screen there a number of peccaries and I have mentioned in previous videos that I have been desperately looking for an albino peccary. Well I finally found one. It is just a level 1 female, however I could not care any less. I am just so thrilled to have finally found one. Now you may notice that it's moved between that initial clip and this clip here. That is because when I initially moved in to take a shot, unfortunately it was bad timing and a bobcat ran through, spooked them out of their zone and they just disappeared. Couldn't find them, this, guy, this female would not leave tracks and it was just so, um, so frustrating. I had to go back to the lodge and change the time back and eventually they came back and she was almost in the same place where I initially spotted her. And honestly, if I hadn't had host of the server, I don't know what I would have done because of her not leaving tracks. But just look at that. On this journey trying to get a albino peccary, I've had multiple leucistics, multiple melanistics, but only one albino. So immediately gonna tax that. And I really don't mind that this is a female at all, because you cannot see the difference between a male and a female peccary really at all, unless you're using the investigation part in the lodge, you cannot tell the difference. So this is just as good as a male to me. Obviously it would be cool to get a male so that I could have a melanistic and an albino fighting, but I'm really happy with my multi-mount of two melanistic males fighting anyway, and I have this one next to it. And I'm just so happy. I have I have hunted hundreds of peccaries trying to get one of these guys. And as soon as I saw that sort of bright white in the night vision, I knew exactly what I'd found. And it was just so exciting. These guys are incredibly, incredibly rare. You do not see a lot of them get posted. Mainly because I think they drink at night and a lot of people hate night hunting. So what they do find is sort of random opportunity kills as they move through the desert and find resting or feeding zones, but I I like hunting them. I think they're a fantastic little species and I absolutely love them. And this is honestly just fits so well with having that now in the trophy lodge. Now onto the final clip. Now I know this is a bit of a shorter Call of the Wild video than normal, however I had to get this out to you guys today. This happened last night and I have been so excited to share it ever since. I posted screenshots of it in the Discord, discords once it happened and I still can't believe it happened.
Now, once again, I was up here looking for albino chamois. I've mentioned it before. I'd really like to find one. And there was so few chamois at the first lake I went to. This lake had a lot, but they were mainly females, small males, nothing interesting. Now, I noticed that there was a leucistic at this lake. I didn't realise it was a level 5. Now, when I dragged the spotting reticle over that and spotted it as a level 5, I did not believe that it was the leucistic. I thought that I must have spotted another one. But no, it was the level 5 that was the leucistic. And it had the biggest horns that I have ever seen on a level 5 chamois. And perhaps the best estimate of up to 65. I started panicking a little bit because this is multiplayer and as I mentioned there was nothing else good and then suddenly this thing appears and I was just in shock you don't see these guys every day now as I've mentioned before leucistic chamois aren't incredibly rare they do crop up quite often same as melanistics but to find a level five one is rare and I'm gonna say that it's rare. There's people that are probably gonna disagree and say, "Oh no, it is just it is an it is an uncommon it is an uncommon fur type." But to find it as a level five is rare. Finding level five chamois is not the easiest thing in the world. Now I took that shot and immediately panicked because I couldn't see if I'd actually made a good shot. I I lost sight of that um of its health going down before you guys will have on screen because I was just checking that my recording was still going and everything. Now, I must mention as we run over to this that there is a number of chamois that got stuck. And I think the problem was partly that this happens all the time with animals in Call of the Wild. I normally, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see lots of um, pictures that I take when animals get frozen in place. It just happens. But I also think the host had bad ping because of what's going to happen in a minute, which you guys are going to see. But Yes, this is an uncommon, technically, fur type. It should be a rare, but they spawn too often. But finding level 5 chamois is not incredibly easy. And to find a level 5 leucistic is a rare thing in and of itself. I was so scared. And this thing had just the best looking horns I've ever seen on a chamois. And I picked it up. And it's a max weight 61.50 scoring diamond leucistic chamois. That is one of the coolest diamonds in this game I have ever shot. I've shot uncommon diamonds before. I've got a Pie World Diamond Harlequin. I've got a couple of um, gold diamond wildebeest. Those are technically uncommons. The Pie World Harlequin is up for debate. A lot of people say it's an uncommon technically because they're quite quite easy to find. But this, this is not that easy to find. These guys are not... You just don't see level 5 leucistic chamois every day. This is not a common thing to find. And the thing that really makes it for me is that that was also a max weight and the biggest chamois I have ever shot. And unfortunately, you're going to notice that we've moved to the lodge rather quickly and I'm not still on the claim screen. That is because at that point where that finished on that clip, my game crashed. The whole server went. And I was completely panicking. I quickly went back into my recording to make sure I had hit tax. And thankfully I had. And I loaded back into the game immediately and it was still there. And thank, I'm just, thank everything. Thank my lucky stars that that's, that saved. Because I would not have, been, I'd have been so sad if for some reason it bugged out and said that, you know, I hadn't claimed it or whatever because of that crash. And I did go and look after and the whole server went, the whole server was gone. So whether it crashed because the host left or whatever, it it was just gone. There was no, no server up anymore. And I'm just so lucky because the, the server could have crashed five minutes earlier and I would never have gotten in to see this. And like I mentioned, there was nothing else good there. Nothing else was interesting. And then this popped up. And as I've mentioned, it, yes, it's not the rarest diamond rare technically ever. But to get a max weight leucistic diamond chamois is not a common thing to do. And I'm just so, so excited to have one and to get to share it with you guys. This was honestly one of the best hunts I've ever had in this game. 
So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you guys like this diamond chamois. I just love it. It's got pride of place in the trophy lodge now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.